Hi, and welcome to web browser developed in the Visual Basic.net. Now, let me show you guys how this web browser works. And here is my default default interface. So let's come in here. If I enter, let's supposing I want to let's go for maybe Google. There we go. And all we just need to do is to click on that. And that should take us straight to Google. Okay. And I can also go back to my previous page. As you can see. So what I'm going to do now is to take you back guys straight to Visual Basic Development Environment. And we put one of these together. So let's do that now guys. Okay guys, let's start a new project by clicking on create new project right here. Okay, now that the new project dialog box is ready, let's select Visual Basic and select Windows Forms application and right here we give our project a name. I'm just going to call that Web Browser 2. That is the name of my project, so I'm now going to click on OK. Okay, now that my form is ready, I'm going to define the size of this form. So just make it about 1386 and I'm going to make this maybe 700. Or I can just as well, I can also come in here right there. You see the window state? I'm going to change the window state of the form to maximize. There we go. And up here, let's change that to web browser. There. Okay, the next thing I want to do is come here where we have the toolbox. And I'm going to select menu strip right there. That's my menu strip there. And in there, Maybe I should just enter as something like that. Let's say we have a file. You don't have to if you don't want to, but I just want to do that. File, let's say edit. Then I will go for project. No view. Let's go for view. And project here. Just in case if you have any other thing you want to add. Then the next thing I, I want to do here is I'm going to add a text box. And another text box here. This very text box. Let me increase the size of this very text box to let's say yeah. Let's go for about 900 and see. There we go loves this yeah that's that's fine okay the next thing I want to do before I continue is to come right up here let's grab one button that's good enough for me then I can always I can always modify that very button yeah so I'm gonna copy this but very button Hold on to the control. Let's do it that here. Hold on to the control. Click, drag, and I need one more and one more. Okay, these three buttons. Okay, let's move them build a little bit closer. Select it all and take and move it up there. Right there. There we go. That's fine. And this one, I'm going to paste, place this button way up here. Right. Okay. Now, let's come, go back to the toolbox and look for the object, object a web browser. Let's click that and paste that here. There we go. And now, click on this little rectangle there and select duck. There we go, guys. Look at that. Now, my defaults. So when you click on this browser here, you have the option of entering your own default there. So 
to my default website so it's going to be my own YouTube channel let me drag it there and you see when I paste it in there that's my YouTube okay that's my default browser if I run it that's where that will take take us to so let's start it and see there we go okay I'm going to close that let's close it and come right here you see those buttons let's do something with them okay so to do that I'm gonna go inside word and let's select insert and we don't need a symbol click on symbol okay More. and I need the following one two and three so select them and insert because I'm gonna copy them through there and as you can see it's a uh, wing and three and I need a home as well there we go so I can close that copy the home and come right down here select that very button go to the properties and change that there and let's change the font click and change the font and there guys I'm going to select uh, waiting for that and that's it just click on ok alright so close that and let's come right here there we go you see there's a home there so I'm going to repeat the same thing for this very one let's come in here and select my word document copy that I repeat exactly the same thing for the other so let's go to the properties and repeat the same thing and I'm going to speed that up since you guys get the whole idea there we go guys okay now that those are done let's double click on this very one here and that is meant to be for the browser itself no let's that's meant to be for the text box let's come in here change the setting for the text box the first name in the first place I'm going to change the name so txt url so that's fine and the following settings let's come straight to the properties you see where we have accept return I'm going to make that true and here where we have auto complete mode let's change that to suggest append auto complete source I'm going to change that to all system source that's fine so that is fine that's taken care of copy that okay you see this let's change the whole let's come in here as well then the border style let me change that border style I'm going to make that fix 3d so that we can see the lines across so double click on this and in the all I need to do is web browser one dot navigate and I want you to navigate into whatever is inside the text box that's all there done now let's come back in here you see this very one if we double click on that that is going to be web browser one dot go back and that is all there is to that the next one is going to be dot go forward double click web browser one dot go forward there done now for the home right there in the case of the home let me copy because I already have my own default else it will go straight to my default so let's come into the properties I need this let's copy that yeah that's that done so double click on that and let's say web browser one where we want it to navigate to that's going to be the home so I'm going to copy all of these paste it right there I want it to navigate straight in here copy this 
cut it up and paste it in here then we enter a quote here quote and quote there it is that so have a good look at the code this is to this is when you enter whatever inside the text box you click on that bell button and that brings you here this is to go and this one is forward and so on okay maybe I should give those buttons a name so that you guys don't get confused this is for navigate so I'm going to call that BTN navigate BTN nav this one is going to be known as BTN go back let's pin that down BTN go back and this is BTN BTN go forward and finally this is going to be BTN home BTN home If we go back to our code this is what you guys will see okay we have btn navigates there is the button three but you can always change it just copy that paste it here there but make sure you have navigate underscore click so we must know the event repeat the same thing for this one there so it's a good idea to actually name your buttons I did not do that so let's come in here and just get that sorted right all is sorted now so let's click on start dear yeah, guys that's my home page but there's one problem right here we can see the URL okay and even if I click on home the URL will be there as well so what I'm going to do is close and I will then click on Let's double click on the form itself and we're going to need the URL so I'm copy all of that right because I want it to be displayed so I'm going to say txt this dot text equals as follows there and what about when we click on home so I might as well copy this and just use it for home copy that and let's go to home this is home as well there because we want that URL displayed so let's run it one more time there we go guys okay so let's assume we want to enter a text uh, enter another URL here all we just need to do is Let's say we want to Google. You can see the info text that was set on the property of this text box now actually give us a sample of what to do. There we go. Right, and just click on that. And that brings you to the URL that you've just entered. And you can also go back and there we go. So with that guys, I'm going to call it the end of this tutorial. I suppose you guys enjoyed. You all have a nice day now. Bye for now.